Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to create ClickUp tasks with custom fields for Facebook leads. So I am an owner of a business and I'm promoting my business with the help of Facebook lead ads. So here my objective is that it, as soon as a new lead is going to be generated by any of my customers with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically I want to create a task with custom fields in my ClickUp account. For that, what we are going to do is we're going to simply create an automation between Facebook lead ads and ClickUp up with the help of Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect runs on two concepts that is trigger and action. In this process, my trigger application is going to be Facebook lead ads and my action application is going to be ClickUp. So if you want to learn how to do this automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to create ClickUp task with custom fields for Facebook leads. So I'm an owner of a business and I'm promoting my business with the help of Facebook lead ads. So here my objective is that, that whenever a new lead is going to be generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically a task should be created for my team in my ClickUp account with custom fields. For that, what we are going to do is we're going to simply create an automation between Facebook lead ads and ClickUp with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website we need to sign into our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user I'm going to sign into my Pabli Connect account. After signing in you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on access now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, first we have to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. Then a new dialog box is going to appear which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as create ClickUp task with custom fields for Facebook leads. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Next over here it is asking for us to select a folder. On the left side of my screen you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow and for that click on this drop down arrow and these are the folders from which I'm going to select Facebook leads automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to a workflow and selecting the folder we are going to click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of create ClickUp task with custom fields for Facebook leads and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts over here. Trigger says when this happens an action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly what we are going to do is we are going to set up our trigger step for that click on this arrow right over here. And for the trigger application over here, we are going to be taking it as Facebook lead ads. And for the trigger event as new lead instant, we are taking a trigger application as Facebook lead ads and a trigger event as new lead instant because we want that whenever a new lead is going to be generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically Pabli Connect should capture the response of the lead that is generated, okay? So after that, we're going to click on connect in order to connect Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. After that, a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection. But if you want, you can select the existing connection. Before clicking on connect with Facebook lead ads, remember to log into your Facebook account so it will make the process of connecting Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect much easier, okay? So as I've already logged into my Facebook account on a new tab right away, I'm going to click on connect with Facebook lead ads. As you can see that we fully authorized Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. After authorizing over here, it is asking for us to select the page. So in my Facebook account, I've created a page for my business in the name of Fintrix. As you can see, this is the name of my business that is Fintrix right over here. And with the help of this Facebook page, I will be running my Facebook lead ads. So for the page in my, so for the page over here, I'm going to select it as Fintrix. So I'm going to select the page over here. After that, it is asking for us to select a lead gen form. So I've created a lead ads form in the name of Facebook lead ads form as you can see right over here. So for the lead gen form over here, I'm going to select it as Facebook lead ads form. After selecting the page in the lead gen form, let's click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, over here it is saying waiting for webhook response. So now what we're going to do is we're going to generate a test lead and we're going to check whether Pabli Connect captures the response of the test lead that has been generated or not. How are we going to generate the test lead? For that we have to open lead ads testing tool. With the help of lead ads testing tool, we can generate the test lead. So this is the lead ads testing tool right over here. And if you want to learn how to have the access of this page, then you can check out our YouTube channel. Okay. Firstly, after opening lead ads testing tool, it is asking for the page for the 
the page over here, I'm going to select it as my business name that is Fintrix. I'm going to select the page as Fintrix and for the form as Facebook Lead Ads form and then I'm going to click on preview form right over here. So as you can see, this is the Facebook Lead Ads form that I've created right over here and we're going to fill in all the details and then we're going to do, generate a test lead. Firstly, over here it is asking for the full name. For the full name over here, I'm going to write it as demo user 123. For the email over here, I'm going to write it as demo user 123 at the rate and for the phone number over here i'm going to write in a dummy mobile number and then i'm going to click on continue and submit to do a test submission as you can see over here it says our test lead has been sent that means we have successfully generated the test lead with the help of lead arts testing tool so now i'm going to open my workflow that i've created in my public edit and i'm going to check whether public edit has captured the response of the test lead that we have generated right now or not for that i'm going to open my workflow i'm going to scroll down and yes as you can see right over here the response is successfully captured over here in our workflow for if you're going to tally the response for the full name as demo user one two three email as demo user one two three at the rate publitudes.com for the phone number dummy mobile number the created time and all the other details so this means that we successfully connected facebook lead ads with pabli connect and our trigger setup is done after setting up our trigger step we need to set up our action step for that click on this arrow right over here and for the action application over here we are going to select it as click up so i'm going to select my action application as click up right over here and for the action event as create task with custom fields because our objective is that that whenever a new lead is going to be generated with the help of Facebook lead ads automatically a task of that lead should be created in my ClickUp account with custom fields so that is why we are selecting our action application as ClickUp and action event as create task with custom fields and then we're going to click on connect in order to connect ClickUp with public connect a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection okay after that over here it is asking about the API token with the help of API token we are going to connect ClickUp with public connect so from where we to have the access of the token for the follow steps given here below in the help desk okay Firstly, open your ClickUp account. So as you can see, this is my ClickUp account right over here. And to have the access of the API token, we have to click on this profile button and then on settings right over here. As soon as we get to do that on the left side of your screen, you can see over here it says apps. We're going to click on it. As soon as we get to do that, API token is going to be provided. We're going to copy this token from here and we're going to paste the token right over here. And then we're going to click on save right over here. So as you can see that we fully connected ClickUp with Public Connect. After connecting over here, it is asking for us to select a workspace. For the workspace, I'm going to select the workspace of my ClickUp account, okay? Next, it is asking for us to select a space. For the space, I'm going to select the space in which I want to create the task in, okay? After selecting the space over here, it is asking for us to select a folder. I'm going to select it as ClickUp right over here. So these are the folders that I've created in my ClickUp account right over here in my space Public Connect. If you have created your own folder, you have to select the specific folder in which you want to create the task, okay? For the list over here we're going to select it as tasks right over here firstly it is over here asking for the task name for the task name over here i'm going to give it as new facebook lead received so this is a task name right over here okay next it is asking for the description type i'm going to select it as text contact right over here it is asking for the description of the task right over here so i want the task description to be so as you can see, this is my task description right over here. The description of the task is new Facebook lead task right over here. Lead information, the lead information, name, phone number and the email. And for the task description, the five points that are important while doing the task right now. So I've entered the task points right over here. For the lead information over here, what we are going to do is we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we are going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow. And how we're going to do that? As soon as we're going to click on this field right over here, what happens is over here it says Facebook lead arts new lead instance. So this was the previous step of this automation process as you can see right over here. If I'm going to click on this arrow, this was the same response that was captured in our previous step. Over here it is asking for the name. So I'm going to map the data of the name right over here. As I map the data, what happens is the data has now become dynamic that means whenever a new response is going to be captured in a previous step automatically in place of this map data the new data is going to be updated next over here it is asking for the phone number so we're going to map the data of the phone number of our new lead and next over here it is asking for the email so i'm going to map the data of the email right over here okay so this is a description of my task right over here for the assignee id i'm going to select it as admin publitudes right over here if you want you could select your own assignee id right over here it is asking for the tags if you want to add the tags right over here you can enter the tags as per your requirement for the priority over here i'm going to select it as urgent right away okay 
Next over here it is asking for the due date and over here in the help desk it says that we have to enter the due date in timestamp in milliseconds format okay. So in the previous step we are going to check we have received the response in a UTC time zone format but as we want in a timestamp format in milliseconds right over here so we are going to convert this format right over here. And in the description also if I am going to tell you I have added that we have to reach out to the lead within 24 hours that means the due date over here should be after the lead is generated after 24 hours the lead is generated okay. So we are going to create a due date as well as we're going to create the date in a timestamp milliseconds format right over here and how we're going to do that for that we're going to add another action step by clicking on this plus button right over here and with the action application over here we're going to select it as date slash time formatter by Pabli and for the action event as format date with time zone right over here okay next over here we're going to click on connect in order to connect date time formatter with Pabli connect we are selecting an action application as date time format and action event as format date with time zone because we want to change the date format that we have received in our previous response. For the date over here, I'm going to select it as the created date time right over here, okay? For the from format over here, I'm going to select it as this UTC time zone format which is right over here. And for the to format over here, I'm going to select it as timestamp format, okay? And in timestamp format, I'm going to select it as timestamp in milliseconds right over here because in the help desk over here in a click up over here it says that we have to enter the format in timestamp in milliseconds okay for the from format over here as we have received the format in a UTC time zone format so I'm going to write over here as ETC slash UTC right over here and for the to format over here I'm going to write it as Asia Kolkata so I'm going to select my to format as Asia Kolkata okay and then I'm going to click on save and send test request. As soon as you get to do that over here, result is going to be received and in the result we have received the current date, the date that lead was generated in a timestamp milliseconds format, okay. But as you want for the due date for after 24 hours of this current date right over here, so what we are going to do is we are going to add another action step in this workflow right over here to have the format of our due date and for the action application we are going to again select it as date slash time formatter by Pabli. And now for the action event we are going to select it as add slash subtract time right over here and then we're going to click on connect for the date over here we're going to select the date that we have received right away we're going to map the date of the current date and for the expression over here we have to write the amount of time or the date or minute that we want to add to this date right over here so i want to add it as plus 24 hours so this is how you have to write the expression that is the time that you want to add to this date right over here okay and as i want that i want the due date to be after 24 hours so that is why plus 24 hours right over here okay then over here it is asking for the two format in which format do we want the due date in so we are going to select it as timestamp millisecond format right over here and for the from format i'm going to select it as timestamp millisecond because this is the format that we have entered the data in right over here and then we need to click on save and send test request as soon as we get to do that over here result is going to be received and this is the result for the due date to be entered so what we are going to do is in our click up step right away for the due date we are going to map the date of the result that we have received in our previous step so this is the due date right over here and for the start date over here we are going to map this result right over here this is the start date right over here okay and next it is asking for the source this source is my custom field that I have created in my click up task right over here so for the source over here I am going to write it as so this is my source that is facebook lead ads right over here so as I have filled in all the details after that I will be clicking on save and send test request as you can see that over here response is received and the response that we have received is a positive response. So now I'm going to open my ClickUp account and I'm going to check whether a new task is created in my ClickUp account with the details of my lead and with the custom field or not. For that I'm going to open my ClickUp account. So this is my ClickUp account right over here and this is the task I'm going to open this task right over here. As you can see over here new task is created in my ClickUp account right over here. If you're going to tally the task right over here, this is the description of the task. The name of the task is new Facebook lead received and the description description is new Facebook lead task for demo user the number and the email address right over here with the task description with five points right over here for the custom field source as Facebook lead ads as you can see right over here and for the date as today's date and the tomorrow's date this is the due date and the start date right over here. So this means that we fully created an automation between Facebook lead ads and ClickUp with the help of Pabli Connect. But now for all of you guys what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate another test lead with the help of Facebook lead ads and I'm going to check whether the new task is created in my ClickUp account with custom fields or not. For that I am going to generate another test lead with the help of lead ads testing tool. With the help of this tool we are going to be generating the test lead with the help of Facebook lead ads. Over here it says you can create one lead per form. You need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one. And as I have already created a lead with the help of this form I am going to delete the lead by click on delete lead right over here. And over here it says your lead has been deleted. Now we are going to refresh the page. 
it is very important to first delete the lead and then refresh the page because if you are not going to do that you will not be able to generate another test lead with the help of this form right over here because you can only create one lead per form for the page over here i will be selecting it as fintrex and for the form right away i will be selecting as facebook lead ads form and then i'm going to click on preview so this is the form that i've created right over here it is asking for the full name email and the phone number so i'm going to fill in all the details as you can see that i've filled in all the details for the full name as smart user email as smart user at the rate pabletudes.com for the phone number dummy mobile number i'm going to click on continue and then on submit to do a test submission as you can see that over it says a test lead has been sent so now i'm going to open my click up and i'm going to check whether a task is created in my click up account with custom field or not for that i'm going to open my click up account and yes as you can see right over here new task is created in my click up account as you can see right over here for the title of the task is new facebook lead received for the lead details to be smart user phone number the mobile number email as smart user at the rate pabletudes.com with the description and with the custom field as facebook lead ads so this means that we fully created an automation between facebook lead ads and click up with the help of pabli connect so now to sum up till now what we have done i am an owner of a business and i am promoting my business with the help of facebook lead ads so i am object is that that as soon as a new lead is going to be created with the help of facebook lead ads automatically a task of that lead should be created in my click up account with custom fields for that what we have done is we have simply created an automation between facebook lead ads and click up with the help of pabli connect and this is how we create this amazing automation okay so if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment on below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us email on support at the rate pabli dot com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum dot pabli dot com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts, and please share this video. And thank you for watching.